<laughs> let's do 21, Tim Pool. Let's just, this oh, is yeah. easy. Yeah. So Kristen Stewart is, uh, you know, an actress famous for the Twilight series. But look, she's done really cool stuff since since then. Um, a personal Shopper was really good. Uh, I mean, I... God, well, I'm trying to think of some of the other movies that she's been in. Yeah, she was really... I mean, she was good in Spencer. Uh, the, she's 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 a really good actress that was in a terrible... Uh, a movie with terrible source material. And she's now, you know, she's queer, she's out, she speaks about her sexuality and is doing a, a lot of projects, I think, that elevate queer directors, writers, gay directors, writers. And she decided that in part of promoting, you know, her latest film, she was going to be on the cover and she got on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine and they did a bit of like a, a play on traditionally masculine dress in a locker room so she wears a jock, jock strap she wears a tank top she looks hot as hell and this makes tim pool very upset naturally because you know is this the daily mail or what 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 source is he using here oh direct source direct right from rolling that's actually Stone. a good writer yeah miles clean that is um that's that's atypical dangerous for tim, for tim yeah it's, it's usually time to scroll daily mail, yeah, daily hour. mail or or post millennial his mm -hmm. own yeah website. usually you need it <laughs> i mean website. if you can get a human centipeded like f from the daily mail through the post millennial and then tim pool can read it that's really the best i forgot about the human centipede just got <laughs> sick for a second thinking about him at the back end of that here we go so rolling stone did a cover with Kristen Stewart. Of course, everybody knows Kristen Stewart from Twilight. So following this, there was widespread criticism of the photo shoot because Kristen Stewart uh, used what, what, what they describe as masculine coated props, like a jock strap and a leather vest or whatever. Following the criticism, sorry, Rolling Stone. Where, this supposed widespread criticism. Can we cite a source? Can we put a a name to this, like right wing freaks? I mean, you know, what we've learned from Claudine Gay is that you've got to cite yourself, even in your own, even in your own work, because that could be called plagiarism. You go published this. Right wingers are terrified of our gay Kristen Stewart cover. We'd honestly be surprised if they could name a movie she's done since Twilight. Um, it is hard to to think of any movies that she's done, to be Nominated completely honest. An Oscar but uh, I did Spencer. see American Ultra. I don't know. Like I think that was 10 years ago. And uh, Snow White. And um, what else is she in? I don't know what else she's in, to be completely so honest. the kids' movie, though. And I think the funny thing about this is uh, saying that we'd be surprised if they could name a movie she's done since Twilight is kind of the point. So there is some speculation that a move like this from Chris, Kristen Stewart doing like this shocking photo shoot is desperation. Can you pause She's it? not a First of all, um, Kristen Stewart's pretty known to be like quite an introverted person that doesn't have social media or like craves the kind of celebrity that was thrust upon her at quite a young age. Um, you know, does he say the same thing about Robert Pattinson in Twilight? Because I doubt he could, maybe he could name Good Time because that was more that's a that's a movie that appeals to men more, I guess. Um, but could he name one movie that Robert Pattinson did? Because Pattinson and Kristen Stewart since these movies and look, maybe I know a lot about this because admittedly I was a Twilight fan as a kid. All right. Just don't hold it against me. Um, but they shocking they parlayed their those stupid ass movies and truly after the first one it is not worth your time <laughs> um uh, they they parlayed like that financial success into doing a, bo a bunch of really interesting um smaller projects like robert pattinson did the lighthouse he did good time um the lost city of z that kind yeah. of thing excuse me if i'm a little bit uh uh uninterested in tim pool talking about uh desperate celebrities out of the limelight as he's in a band with uh phil labonte from all that remains yeah like this is a celebrity Who's doing the host of the show uh, yeah, yeah. The, the, this is a celebrity doing a um a a a, a, a photo shoot, shoot. Yeah, this is a thing that film. celebrities do um it's it's rolling stone i hope that if i'm desperate i can get rolling stone to be like yeah we'll do a photo shoot yes <laughs> this is to promote her film and she's queer and she thought this was cool. not a charity rolling stone yes <laughs> keep going doing like this shocking photo shoot is desperation she's not 
a big movie star anymore. I mean, to be fair, like Twilight was big when it was big, but I, you know, Robert I Pattinson, that big was big for big. him. I know he wasn't a big fan of it, but he also did Harry Potter. And Kristen Stewart, that was big that. for her, and she's done like some movies since then, I guess. I mean, come on. You can't name a movie that she's done since Twilight, can you? Here's what's funny about this. I would like Rolling Stone to know I am not terrified in any way of your cover. In fact, I didn't even comment on it until now. And Sorry, just really quick. Is he acknowledging that he's a right winger as a result of this? Uh, yeah. You know, <laughs> now I'm going to. I can't speak for other anti woke social media accounts, oh. but I'm going to start this segment off very simply before reading their criticism. And then I want to show you uh, some examples. Kristen Stewart looks gross. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean. Oh. I don't know or care for Kristen Stewart. I don't care that she dresses how she wants to dress. And I honestly didn't care. That I don't Roland care that she doesn't wear the exact same it. thing on her head every but day. But if you want to play this game and talk about <laughs> what's going on, I'll tell you where I'm at. When the Gamergate stuff was happening, my attitude for all the video games that were getting woke was, hey, man, more power to you. You make your video game. That's great. Uh, I won't buy it. Rolling Stone runs the cover of a greasy looking disheveled individual who looks like they have become a drug addict. And that was a little bit harsh, but yeah, I'm just not going to mince words here. I'm not going to buy your magazine. Don't I don't them. care. Do whatever you want to do. I'm not terrified of a woman who looks bad, and she doesn't care that I think she triggered. looks bad. She probably doesn't care for my opinions. She probably thinks I look bad. She's gay. She can say that if she wants. That's She's fine. not just gay. I don't know if that's the only thing. The point I will bring up that. is... Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, well, I don't know... <laughs> The only way a woman the could, reason. the only reason she would say you look gross is because she's gay? Look. Mm. No, uh, I mean, look, I mean, you got to project confidence. I, I can't begrudge him that. Can we, can we pull up these photos of her um, from the, from the, from the rollings? I mean, like, this is just, I mean, this is gross. She looks gross here. I mean, how, <laughs> like, how? <laughs> Bro, I don't know, man. You just, you just, uh, she, he might just like not like seeing the female body. I mean, she, she is scantily clad in this, but she looks gross. Hey, to each their own, to each their own. Um, it's funny too, how like, yeah, th this whole incel culture, they really get off on putting down women that don't fit these very specific beauty standards, but like, she's white she's gorgeous she's thin she checks every single box but because she plays with her gender just a little bit it's enough to turn off this 10 out of a 10 guy i mean whoa what a looker Tempo off to her forever yeah, the really most eligible bachelor in in america but wherever he's looking we should well, well I, we should let it play a little bit longer but just to me it's also just striking that he makes it very clear, even with the Gamergate reference, that he's like, oh, like, I didn't care. I don't care. I'm not going to buy it. not going to read the magazine. So then why the 22-minute video on, segment the, on, on the if we don't care? When Are he we, says how gross is a waste she of is when going yeah. through all of the photos of her in the photo shoot for like, his audience. But how gross is this? You need to you need to qualify multiple times. You're not going to mince words because you're making very clear that what you're saying is like slightly vicious and nasty. But it's completely out of a, it, it is it is sourced from a deep apathy towards the situation. Yeah. It doesn't really pass the smell test for me. It doesn't really. I wouldn't really be making a 22-minute segment on something I don't care about. When I don't care about something, I don't yeah. care about yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the thing is, is like, you know, he, he, he doesn't care about it at all. He finds her disgusting, but let's look at all the photos and let's talk about it for 20 We're definitely going to have all those up for you. Yeah. He doesn't want to hang out. He doesn't want to what... hang out with me. He doesn't. He thinks I'm a pedophile, but... Uh, he's gonna bitch about me not saying and hanging out and doing sushi and poker with the boys afterwards. Yeah. This is just classic incel stuff, folks. Like, if you... Belittling women in order to feel better about yourself when secretly all he cares about is the approval of women or, like, you know, feels... He's a visibly insecure man. Insecure. He wears so a like, symbol of his insecurity everywhere his he goes. Yeah, so that's why let's look through every one of these photos just, to, just, just because of how gross they are. Yeah, right, Tim? Yeah understand about rolling stone or whatever and i guess i do understand but why do you have to look like a drug addict to be a queer icon or whatever no i mean i Sorry, mean sincerely just, i mean real quick if i saw tim in wherever he is um and i needed to buy weed i'd say hey man do you know where i can buy weed 
and he wouldn't because he's a square or whatever but like yeah. he looks like somebody like you don't look like I, what do you, what do you think you look like i don't know An i mean ambassador? She, what because she has tats like what does she, what screams drug addict to, to to she looks like she's in great tattoos shape. yeah and, and a, mullet, a mullet type of thing but i thought okay so her but if, if she was saying right wing stuff it would be like oh look at how american this person is. i mean what what kind of square skateboarder is this this mf -er, right like right. tattoos make you look like a drug addict i mean who who is this like Phyllis Schlafly over here, but with male pattern baldness? And here we go. You take a look at the older photos of Kristen Stewart. I mean, obviously she was gay back then, right? She was gay then and she's gay now. She didn't just become gay. She said, but what about that made her decide to, I don't know, not clean her face and hair? No, seriously. The photos of her. Look, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to be kind of a dick on this one, but I, I look. Yeah, go for it, buddy. Good morning. I don't care to oh, get into a so spat brave. with any celebrities or whatever. I know the woke are going to scream and cry. That's fine. You do whatever you want. I'm going to say it plainly and bluntly. Okay. Kristen Stewart before looked like she took care of herself. She wore makeup. I'm not a big fan of makeup, but that's fine. Her face was clean and she did her hair up and things like that. Kristen Stewart in the Rolling Stone magazine looks like she just rolled out of bed and threw on some, <laughs> I don't know, like Goodwill thrift store clothes. It looks like she looks homeless. You know, for me, it strikes a little bit close to home because I'll tell you, the way her hair looks yeah. greasy and dirty, her face, mm. it really does remind me of friends that I've had who, when they became drug addicts, let themselves go. I'm not saying she's a drug addict. I'm saying to me in my experience in my life, what they show of her, I'm like, yeah, that looks like a friend of mine, a couple friends that I'd known throughout my life, and many of you probably know the same thing. They went from wearing, like, clean clothes, and they would clean their hair, and they would dry it, and even the guys. And then once started getting into drugs, they got thin and gaunt. They stopped taking care of themselves, Dale? and then they looked greasy. Where they just didn't a weird care beard anymore. that doesn't fill out fully? I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, like... Um Substance abuse and eating disorders are a common thing in modeling. That's a very common trope. But mm -hmm. like, I don't think she looks that sickly. And if she is, well, then, you know, that's something to deal with. It's not like, I, I, I don't know what that, what does that says about the culture war? But this is also, I will say, kind of psychologically interesting to behold. Because, again, for something that Tim Pool has made very clear that he is apathetic about, that he does not care about, it still can engender some almost borderline with what how he's talking about it you know traumatic memories mm -hmm. um when it comes to seeing the uh bella from twilight in a professionally coordinated and and executed photo shoot which was part of the theme she's a part of like the gym that's you know she's not there to look like a pinup mo he is, model he is but, projecting but re real so feelings much. he's projecting these real or maybe maybe not i mean who's to say real or not feelings i'm saying but he's projecting he's these still feelings. on time he's yeah. projecting these feelings yes onto a literally professionally done photo shoot in one of the most famous magazines of the country yeah. like that's a that's a that's a less than normal response to a magazine cover it really is like just for him he gets a twofer here he's an incel she had been famously dating a man now she's married to a woman it's the opportunity to go after gay people queer people um and say go woke go broke like you're gonna highlight these kind of new gender uh experimental photo shoots or whatever and this is not even crazy by any stretch stretch of the imagination Absolutely. but that yeah, like what movie has she been in since she went gay? But it's it's just but it's really about him. It, 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 they're using the, this like sort of sexual confusion as like mm -hmm. a way to get engagement. I mean, Candace Owens six days ago pulled this up. Bradley, um, this is her talking about uh, <laughs> Emily Radishkowski, very attractive model, um, also Bernie Sanders supporter. Uh, um, she's called for a ceasefire. Um, also, yeah, exactly. And uh, of and what's interesting about this is um, Candace Owens. Uh, had uh, um, Norm Finkelstein on talk about Gaza, mm -hmm. talking a lot of stuff about Gaza before she went on her uh, uh, extremely mater short maternity leave. That was basically just Christmas uh, vacation, and now she's back. And I think, as far as I can tell, has shut up entirely about it. I don't know if Ben Shapiro has silenced Candace Owens. If Candace oh. Owens has has basically uh, fallen in line, it certainly looks that way to me. Um, but this is just like her talking about Radishkowski and skip to like where where they actually put her on screen because it's like this is so awful and it's like also just an excuse to show daily wire people her body yep 
Um, scroll ahead. Uh, here is it? Uh, sorry, keep going. Uh, oh, no I thought, the, yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. And I'll just say just quickly to wrap up the Tim Pool part, uh, maybe she doesn't really care what you think. That's the thing. I think that's the thing that pops Well, that's the knows. problem is that like, lesbians don't care about uh, what men think, and yeah. that is a good, that, to Tim Pool subscriber, <laughs> that is uh, offensive. That's offensive. I mean, for once, a sexualized photo shoot was more designed for maybe uh, gay women, lesbians, or, you know, people that right. are attracted to whatever um than just the male gaze that's the existential threat here but the right wing content has not been doing extremely well um so they've been pivoting to these other like cultural like they were talking about the, the kirsten stewart or here we're talking about uh, emily radishkowski and this has got like two two million views and look at the, what kind of content this is this picture and i've covered this woman extensively on my show she's one of the great purveyors of modern feminism yes emily radishkowski I don't know what she has done in society other than be naked, what her contribution has been, Can't other than her. at the very same time I'm, in, I'm insisting sorry, Candace, on sorry. her nudity. But, but you, the thing that you uh, were supposedly gave a shit about, um, unless that was just like a bargaining negotiations for Daily Wire, um, she's actually made a stance about it, so yeah. Yeah, no, she's contributed way more. And it, look at how they hate women, though. I mean, Candace, Candace the yeah. amount of little Bo Peep outfits that she puts on are going to make people forget that you're a woman, Candace. Um, so maybe right. like, uh, just, like <laughs> yeah, the, what is that? It's, just, it's always something that looks like it's from the Victorian era. Trad, yeah. What her contribution has been other than at the very same time, I'm, in, I'm insisting on her nudity, writing a book and convincing us that men are looking at her, making her a sexual object. Yeah, she actually wrote a book and said that she has been objectified her entire Can life Can I just say, like, actually. just real quick, to, like, it's about taking ownership over that objectification. I mean, you know, it's not hypocrisy um, to be, like, sort of look sexual and also um, object to the patriarchal sexualization of a female body. I mean, just, you know. Yeah. Wrote a book and said that she has been objectified her entire life sexually. Poor Emily Wojciechowski. So anyways... I don't know where she was going the other evening, but I do want to show you this oh, photo of her. Oh God. A night on the town in New York City. It looks like her assistant is descending out of a black car with her, and this is what Emily Wojciechowski decided to wear. Now, if you're listening to this podcast and you don't see it, it is you're gonna literally a black bra and underwear, and it, a, a sheer top on top of it, completely sheer. She's, she's completely naked. She's also wearing even a transparent heel. So I will ask the question in case you think I'm being unfair. Where is she going? Where is she going that you would say that this is an appropriate outfit to wear? I fashion. want you to actually get creative here. Uh, that's I played this game. Yeah, yeah, like a fashion party in New York, in Manhattan. Yeah, and, and <laughs> the, the photographer took a photo of it. And, uh, you know, when you're wearing sheer like that and there's flash photography, sometimes it looks a little bit different than it would in person. And if she decided to wear that in person, it doesn't necessarily matter because the difference is, Candace, is that she's spoken about being sexualized as like a young girl against her will. Yeah regardless of what she does um and with her own agency a lot of girls even when they were like i i remember you know you start like you get through puberty and then you just kind of feel this sense of danger around you when older men are there or men that are you know older than children that it's hard to explain but you feel looked at differently and like if you're at a party and there's drinking you feel like maybe men are looking at you a little weirder then too and it's just like this undertone of violence that candace owens is trying to completely dispel and like when you're a gorgeous woman like emily radzikowski too like i imagine she feels that quite acutely so what she chooses to dress uh in is her reclaiming that and it being on her terms so and that's of course quite clear there's no principle actually here either um uh candace owens when she's not um busy uh, uh slut shaming emily radishkowski um she's cheerleading Ka uh, kanye west who has all sorts of insane photos with like kim uh, kardashian lookalikes with their ass out and it's like oh where's God. he going with her oh <laughs> well I actually know way too much about this. There are deep concerns that that woman that he's with, he's basically deep, like, uh, abusing her because she has, she's not, like, 
you know, he got banned from that, from doing that sexual act in front of her mother on that boat. In, Seems a bit weird. In, in Italy, and that... She, Candace Owens not covering that for some reason. Yeah. Where are they going? It's also this, even the question of the video, what are you, what are you, what are you implying? What's the sinister implication of where you think she's going, where there's paparazzi everywhere? Is that there, she's not in danger for yeah. wearing that. Yeah. Like, she's with her assistant, and she's wearing what she wants to wear, because she's a beautiful supermodel yeah um yeah. just really quickly can i can, to your point about the hating women thing can we just can you we just play the five seconds of how she starts this particular yes, clip yes, just, just yes. for you guys to get an idea i want to see what the cold open is i mean this is the hook for the audience uh, plus the, obviously the thumbnail that i'd imagine includes that that image uh yeah pretty sure okay oh, sorry. women are nasty now Something I've noticed, I wanted to say this right at the top of 2024, we have become the perverts. In fact, what's even more ironic is that as we point the finger and pretend drops. that men are the perverts, me too error, time's up, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. It is so clearly evident everywhere that you look in society. You know, and it's um, Candace is right, because back... There was no rape back in the in the eras when women were covering up basically all of their body with 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 clothes i mean there was no I, no concerns over consent in the 1800s never i mean it, rape is a 20th century phenomenon i'm not sure if our audience is aware of that. of course uh, that photo of uh radishkowski getting out of her limo is on the thumbnail so oh, you're so dirty for clicking on this this is what she's so wrong degrade her for making you feel that way 2.3 million flatter. views so dining on emily radishkowski's body is candace owens and not talking about Palestine or Israel. So yeah, good back. Get, Maybe she's right that women are the new perverts. <laughs> let's get back to yeah. Well, she, yeah, she talked about Kristen Stewart, of course. Of course. Oh, she's talking about Richard Dole's as OnlyFans. Um, oh, I guess okay. Maybe there is a. I, I I did speak too soon. There is a, a, a Jewish and Muslim friends uh, post, so I will be looking at that for next week. So we'll be looking at where she's landed on Israel Palestine. <laughs> 